One of the last things that I'd like to discuss uh, as far as safety is concerned with ice climbing uh, is the use of helmets. Now, unlike other uh, disciplines within climbing, uh, namely bouldering and sport climbing, where helmets may not be as prevalent, with ice climbing, you'd be a fool not to protect your noggin. And here's the reason. It's not necessarily uh, that you're worried too much about you falling, but uh, just the motion of ice climbing itself. When you're throwing a tool above your head, oftentimes you're releasing quite a bit of tension in something that has uh, essentially frozen in place. And that oftentimes will manifest in dinner plating, as we refer to it, of the ice surface. Dinner plating uh, is this phenomenon that happens when you break the surface tension of a, a convex section of ice, and then all of a sudden there's a line that forms around the, the top of that little bulge, and that whole thing, like a big disc, if you will, of ice comes falling down, usually on top of your head, and if it misses your head, if you're lucky enough for it to miss your head, usually hits you in the crotch or on the feet. So, uh, again, there's not much we can do to protect our crotches, our feet, but our heads are really, really uh, obviously important uh, in safety and making sure that we don't get bashed in the head with the ice that we dislodge. Uh, or, in fact, if we are climbing beneath another party, or if, in fact, you're belaying your partner, there's the potential for you to also get hit by that ice. So a helmet is an absolutely, absolutely obligatory part of our kit for ice climbing. It may not necessarily be for some of our folks uh, who are into sport climbing or into bouldering, but for ice climbing, alpinism, absolutely key. Now, uh, the helmet I've been using for years now is the, the Stealth Helmet, one of our lightest uh, polystyrene in-mold helmets. Uh, as you can see, plenty of ventilation uh, and uh, personalized with my favorite taco spot out of Ridgeway. It's a, a perennial favorite for the Array Ice Climbing Festival there. But uh, this is one of my favorite helmets for ice climbing until uh, I was introduced to this guy here. Uh, this is our new Duetto helmet. Uh, and the biggest difference between this Duetto versus the uh, former Stealth would be the construction methods. As I mentioned before, this is a polystyrene in-mold helmet. Not all that dissimilar to, say, the way uh, your cycling helmet. Uh, might be built. Now, what we have here in the Helix, or right, I'm sorry, in the Duetto, is a completely, completely different sort of construction method and use of materials. Uh, here in the Duetto, uh, we're dealing with a material called EPP. Uh, it stands for Expanded Polypropylene. And what's really, really interesting about this particular material is that it's in a really, really wonderful, lightweight, energy-absorbing foam. Your close-up here, as you can see, I can actually squeeze this stuff and deform it. And that kind of gives you an idea of just how effective this material it is at eating up a lot of the impact force of a fall, or in fact a falling object striking the top of the, the helmet itself. Now, uh, one of my favorite things about EPP helmets is that they rival oftentimes the weight that has afforded us uh, this style of polystyrene in-mold helmet. So again, uh, you've got the weight of some of these uh, really lightweight ventilated helmets that are built like your cycling helmet. But the problem with something like this oftentimes is one of the trade-offs for that uh, sort of savings in weight is sort of minor impact durability as I mentioned. Uh, again, all helmets regardless of whether they're EPP or whether they're in-mold polystyrene or if they're uh, a hybrid style with an ABS plastic shell, all those helmets are only good for one major impact. Right, so it doesn't really change the, the safety quotient of the helmet. But these helmets, because they are so lightweight, if this thing should take a tumble off of a ledge and bounce off a couple of rocks in the talus, there's a good chance that you're going to be able to see where those impact points uh, struck the helmet, right? Uh, these things, again, the trade-off is that you have the lightest weight helmet out there to cover your head and to protect your, your skull, but these things don't deal with minor impacts nearly as well as something uh, that might be perhaps a bit heavier. Now, uh, with the innovation of an EPP helmet, we're now having uh, the same level of protection, but at a weight that rivals uh, these polystyrene in-mold helmets, but with a minor impact durability that is really, really off the charts. If this thing rolled off that same ledge and took 15 more bounces, I think it, you would be hard pressed to be able to tell me where the helmet had impacted some of that talus. So, these have all the advantages in terms of weight that uh, helmets like the Stealth afford us, but with quite a bit more minor impact durability. Uh, and where that really kind of comes into play for ice climbing would be the fact that if you're not hitting yourself in the head, 
with chunks of ice that you dislodge, you're probably not climbing enough. We know for a fact that we're going to be sort of uh, hit in the head with ice that we dislodge. And so it's really, really nice knowing that we have a helmet that is going to sort of uh, withstand those minor impacts throughout the life of the helmet much better than, say, a lighter polystyrene in-mold helmet. And what I really like about the Duetto uh, as well is uh, one of the things that we've changed in terms of the design is the amount of ventilation. Uh, the Duetto is certainly uh, is almost purpose-built for ice climbing and alpinism uh, because it has less ventilation. Uh, you have less sort of chances of having leaky head. Right? If you're on a particularly wet ice climb, for instance, or if you happen to emerge into the sun when you've been coated in snow and spindrift, it's very, very easy to start to get kind of a bit moist under the lid. This helmet definitely gives us a bit more protection, I'd say, from the weather, whereas this one's certainly going to be a bit lighter, more, uh, more ventilated uh, if we should be climbing in more varied temperate conditions. But the new Duetto has the same harness system as what you'd find in the Stealth. Extremely lightweight, extremely durable. You can easily pack this helmet many, many times in your pack without worrying about disrupting uh, or deforming any of the, the harness materials that enable us to adjust it. Uh, as you can see, headlamp compatible all the way around and available in two colors, the new Duetto.